Hello, I'm Randy Blanchard, Director of Audio Products for Vancouver International. Today, we're going to walk you through the graphic user interface of our BAV2500 and BAV4250 commercial amplifiers. The BAV2500, which we're using in this demonstration, is a two-channel by 500-watt per channel amplifier. The BAV4250 is a 250-watt four-channel amplifier. So. If you're using a 4250, just think double everything you see here. So let's walk you through the GUI today. So here on our main screen, you have the inputs. Which input do I want to send to which output? Now, the nice thing is I can even combine inputs. So I can take two inputs, send it to one output, and the amplifier will blend those two inputs together. Next setting over here, of course, is your volume control. I get a slider or I have an arrow up down for fine tuning that volume control, as you can see here. Also, this is a mute button. Now, when your customer calls you up and says, there's no audio, first thing you wanna ask them is the red mute button on. Let's keep going. Next is the DSP functions. So here you have a high pass filter. If I wanna roll some highs out, or I'm sorry, roll some lows out, or I have bass and trouble control. I can slide it this way, and then I can fine tune it with the up down arrows. Last thing over here is our limiter. So if the amplifier is being driven very hard and is about to go into an overdrive state, instead of putting out a tremendous amount of distortion or possibly damaging the amplifier, the amplifier will limit itself and then back the output down, and then this light will come on. That lets you know that amplifier, that channel is really being driven too hard. Our next function is our parametric equalizer, notch filter, uh, really able to tailor the amplifier to the individual environment uh, with this screen. You have a three band parametric equalizer and a lot more. So I'm going to walk you through them right now. First, notch filter. So Maybe I've got too much bass in this, in this environment and it's causing the windows to rattle a little bit. I can roll that bass out. I can notch it out. You can see here. I can also change the slope from a brick wall filter to a gently sloping filter. Really lets you dial in the amplifier. The next one, I need to add some highs maybe or I need to add some mid range. Same thing, I can determine how much boost or cut, and then how big I want that cue or how, how gentle I want that slope. I can also have a low pass filter built in. So I can change the frequency. Uh, let me turn that on for you. There we go, see that? Now I can cut the highs right out if I wanted to. But again, you can see I can completely tailor this amplifier to each individual adjustment. Great feature. Next tab is the saving tab. I can store all of these customizations into the amplifier. I can also store them onto a computer, my laptop. Now, why this is important is, let's say you've just scored a franchise. Well, I got six Chick-fil-A's. Uh, we know every Chick-fil-A looks like every other Chick-fil-A and sets up all the same. You can tailor the amplifier for the first Chick-fil-A. Now when the franchise owner calls you up and says, I need a second, I need my second installation done. You can take your programming from your first amplifier, drop it into the second amplifier, send it to the job site and reduce the amount of time on the job site. Another value to this is heaven forbid an amplifier fails. Not likely, but it could happen. Instead of sending a generic amplifier out to the job site while theirs is in service or having to do a two-step, you could take another amplifier, another BAV 2500, 4250, drop the program into that amplifier, send it out to the job site. Reduce the customer's downtime, reduce the, the number of truck rolls you have to make, so drastically reduces your costs as well. Last feature of this is if the customer has, uh, wants quiet music during the day for the lunch crowd, but at night he wants 
bass or more rock and roll. He wants the music a little bit louder. I can set up the restaurant or environment for a daytime setting, nighttime setting, various settings, uh, and then allow the customer to just recall those settings uh, instead of having to have them worry about DSP functions, parametric equalization, or anything like that. So that's just the home screen. Now let's walk you quickly through some other screens. So the output configuration. Both amplifiers are able to be 70 volt amplifiers, 100 volt amplifiers, or 4 ohm, 8 ohm amplifiers, or simultaneously. So the great thing here is I did a restaurant and I got my wonderful 70 volt Beale speakers in, but in this area of the restaurant, the customer wants more bass. Well, we make some great subwoofers, but they're four on eight ohm. They're four ohm. So with this amplifier, I can set up zone one as my 70 fold zone. Zone two is a four ohm, eight ohm sub zone and use that to drive the subwoofers. Uh, also could be for outdoor speakers, anything. Now I can tailor it specifically to my speakers. Your next setting is your power setting. Well, I can have the amplifier stay on all the time, or I can choose to have the amplifier turn on when it detects a signal. That's up to you. Of course, turn off when it doesn't see a signal. Now, these are digital amplifiers. Uh, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't just leave them on. They're not gonna draw a lot of current. It's not gonna shorten the life of the amplifier just by leaving it on. But you decide how you wanna do it. We give you the flexibility. Next setting is of course, as you know, these are network amplifiers. So here is, I can change the IP address, I can change the gateway, I can change any of the, the network features of this, or I can enable DHCP and let the networks uh, assign an IP address to the amplifier. But again, you choose, you determine what's best based on your customer's network. Now here, the default password is admin. You can change that password to whatever you want it to be if you don't want the customer to have a lot of access to the system, which I would recommend. Uh, you can set new passwords here, store it. The very last setting is just the about setting. So if you have to call us for tech support, we're probably gonna ask you what firmware version you're using. Uh, make sure you have the most up-to-date uh, firmware. What's great too is if there is a firmware update for our amplifiers, you'll be able to go online, download that firmware from our website, and update your customer's amplifier. So that's the about setting. Let's go back to the home setting. Again, main screen. This is where you're gonna, your customer is going to see the majority of the time. With that, thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoy both of our amplifiers, and good luck and good selling to you.